In this question, we're considering a model ship and it's moving in a two dimensional plane in the x direction and in the y direction. So not up and down, it's, it's on the sea, presumably, or in, in a lake or pond or something. Now we're told that the mass is two, so I'm just going to write that down, two kilograms. And the acceleration is a vector a. And at time t seconds, this is then given by this, which I'm going to write as a column vector, expanding it out. So it's going to be 6t minus 15, and then 4 down here. Now here's the key bit. When t is equal to capital T, the magnitude of the horizontal force acting on the ship is 10 newtons. So that's the resultant force coming from both the x and the y directions. Find the possible values of t. Well, Newton's second law says that f is equal to ma, and we can write it in vector form like this. And it follows that the magnitude of f is going to equal m times the magnitude of a. Now we're told the magnitude of f, we're told that the, the horizontal force acting on the ship is 10 newtons. And we're told that m is 2. So we just need to work out the magnitude of A. And we can do that by using Pythagoras' theorem because we have a horizontal component, which is um, 6t minus 15. And we have a vertical component, which is 4. So when t is equal to capital T, therefore I can just replace it here. And it's going to be 6t minus 15 all squared plus 4 squared, then square rooted. That's going to be the magnitude of the acceleration. And I've got an equation I can deal with. So first of all, divide through by 2. So 5 is going to equal this. And then square it. Like you could square it straight away, but you'd have to square the 10 and square the 2 and then square this. So it just makes sense to get the square root by itself. Now square root. Sorry, now square. So 25 is going to equal 6t minus 15 squared plus 16. Just a little word warning. When you square an equation like this, you just have to check that, that you don't get any um, non-physical solutions. But in this case, actually, because this is positive and this is positive, it's not going to be okay. Like when you square a negative, you make it positive and you can get something called spurious solutions. That's not actually going to happen here but it's, it's always worth bearing in mind when you square an equation that, that could happen. So this is going to equal 25 minus 16, which is 9. Now you could expand this out and solve a quadratic, but it's actually already in a great form. It's in completed square form, essentially, if we minus the 9 from both sides. So I can actually now take the square root of both sides. 6t minus 15 is going to be plus or minus, don't forget, 2 answers and actually it does say here the possible values of t so that's a bit of a hint plus or minus the square root of 9 which is 3. So 6t right when we use minus 3 it's going to be minus 3 plus 15 which is going to give me 12 or when I use 3 it's going to be 3 plus 15 18 and therefore t is equal to 2 or 3. Technically, seconds, um, yeah, I, I, I do like to add that into my answers normally, so seconds.